All right, the next piece of information I want to pull in is the Facebook username and a link to um, to their profile and as well as, uh, well, let me just stick to that. So uh, what I need is this part. It says ahref class from name, then I got FB username uh, and shared a link. Okay, let me pull everything up to the second link that I'm going to have, which is the link type. So uh, I'll grab that and I'll bring that into my JavaScript. And I'm going to put quotes around it because I know that's what I need. And let's see what I'm going to do here. So the first thing is, uh, well, let's just start with the username because that's a bit easier. And I'm just going to quote everything around that FB username I put in caps and I'll put a plus sign before and after that. So how am I going to pull in the Facebook username? Uh, let's go back to our data source and see what the story is. We have the username is, there you go, from.name. We've actually already pulled that in, so that'll be pretty easy. Yeah, from dot this dot, yeah, here we go. This dot from dot name. So that should pull up the name, and let's see, do we have Shared a, I th actually I think, oh, let me add a plus at the end. Let's see where this gets us. I don't have any errors on my page, so at least now we should get their name next to the photo, I'm hoping. Okay, very cool. Um, it's set up as a link, but it doesn't really do anything because that link is just a dead link over here in that href. So um, how are we going to find their name? Well. Remember we had that user ID business where we could have found someone's um, picture by putting in that user ID we have over here. Well, if we want to link to their Facebook picture, you use the from.id property and you just go facebook.com forward slash and pop in that user ID. If you hit return, it takes us to the page with the person. So perfect. Um, let's see, how do we get that? We're going to have href in here this is all static http colon forward slash forward slash we'll go www.facebook.com forward slash and here is where the actual user id comes into play so i'm going to put a single quote plus plus and then another single quote and in between those two pluses i'm looking for the uh, user dot this dot from dot id and at this point, let me give my thing a refresh. At this point, those links should, act should actually take us right to the user's page. I'm hopeful. Sweet. 